that means they're going back 10, 10 units to, to the left there. So um, you got to be careful. Like, is that really the answer or, you know, make sure you're, you're going in the right direction. So let me grab a snip of a uh, number line here to help with this problem. I, can't, I don't want to draw it the whole time here. That would be inefficient. So he, here's the scenario. They're saying Penguin is initially here. So Peng, Penguin is initially there at three. Okay. But then it, 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 it ends up here 10 feet below. So it's, it's like it goes all the way back to negative 10. This is below. So which of those pictures goes that? Um, and actually, they so what's what's now maybe not what you maybe need to focus more on is where it ends and where it begins. They don't they don't really use the arrows like I'm showing here. They just show you kind of the the whole thing. Would it be? Uh... Would it be number one? So I, I was initially drawn to that, but where does number one end? Where does where's the leftmost arrow seven. end? Negative seven, yeah. Which is not where it says ten feet. Well, I'm sorry, I got I misread this. It is number one because it's diving down. Well, <laughs> the question is, did it dive? 10 feet down or is it finishing at 10 feet i guess i guess we're supposed to interpret it as it it dove 10 feet so i guess it would be number one it's like one word could make all the difference right 10 feet above sea level okay um all right well we'll just keep going here Oh, please will make more. Right. Do you get test questions like this in class? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. All right. So the dolphin is swimming three feet below sea level. This is kind of going the other direction. So they start here and then jump up 10 feet. So that's going to the right and somewhere there is where they you know, start. And that's where they end. you see a picture that looks like that scenario where uh, you may have to flip the page. Four? Yeah. Now, see, what's odd about four is they, they draw two arrows, but they didn't do that for, you know, for the first or for the second and third pictures. But, okay, yeah, it's number four. And then this was for number one. All right, so why don't you try number three? Let's see if you can come up with the uh, right answer on this one. Would it be three? Uh, three. Let me take a look here. Oh wait. It is not. It is not three. If it, well, it could be. Um, I'm looking at four one more time here. Sorry, not four. Um, five. Dives down 10 feet. So so I sort of look at it as being five because of the arrows. Look at the other ones here. Flying 10 feet. Boy, these are it, it's it's the wording that's that's really not not all that easy to interpret here. Um 
So they start at three feet and then they dive down 10 feet. So to me, that's going down another 10 feet to negative 11, negative 12, and then negative 13. So uh, I'm not sure. I, I feel like if, if I had to, I believe it ends at negative 13 feet, which would be number number five. Mm -hmm. I really don't like this assignment. This is very awkward. Um, all right, so number number letter D here. All right, an eagle flying ten feet above sea level, so it starts there, dives down to three feet above sea level, so it ends there. Is there a, something that illustrates that for us? Uh, Not, not really. It was, yeah. it was everything, I'm sure. I mean, it, it, it that sort of elements of two in it, and then, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'd go two. But I know we already did two, didn't we? No. Okay, the two could work. Sometimes process of elimination, kind of two, kind of. Um, Okay, E, uh, Pelican, okay. All right, so we got a Pelican and they start 10 feet above sea level. So they're starting there. And then they dive down reaching three feet below. So they're, they're, they're going that direction. You see something that matches that uh, scenario. Six? That we have. Yeah, it's like six. And then hopefully by process of elimination, the last one is the one we have not have not used. All right, a shark is swimming 10 feet below sea level and then swims up, reaching three feet below sea level. So they start here and end here. So it's it's like it something in this region here. I mean, you could say, to me, it's like though you started there and then you went back this way. That's kind of how I thought they were going with the arrows and such. Mm -hmm. um, this looks a lot like number three. Have we used three? No. Okay, so it kind of did work out. Oh boy, okay. And then we probably should have done the next part with this where we write the, the equation for each. But we'll, we'll do that now. This should be more straightforward. Um, so let's... Uh, Let's let's go back and look at the penguin situation one more time. So you've got that on your paper there. It says a penguin is standing three feet above sea level. So they start out three feet above sea level. So you can think of that as plus three. And then they dive down 10 feet, so they subtract 10. So what this becomes is negative seven, or you can say seven feet below sea level
Okay. So the dolphin, the dolphin is plus three. It starts out three feet no, no, below, sorry, they're three feet below sea level. I didn't read that. Okay. Um, so uh, if it's going up, jumps up, that's plus 10. What does that what does that equal? Um, it equals. Uh, seven. Okay, or you can say seven feet above sea level. So if the answer is positive, it's it's above sea level. If it's negative, it's below sea level. Is that okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The sea turtle. Try try to write the equation for the sea turtle here as best you can. It starts three feet below. It goes further down. Uh, negative three plus negative ten. So when you're when you're diving down, though, it's minus ten. Oh. Oops. So what what is minus three minus ten? Um, thirteen. Try again. Both negative. Oh, uh, seven. Try again. They're both negative. So when they're both negative, you keep the sign, and then you add the numbers. So add the numbers 3 and 10 without the signs. 13. Negative 13. So how would you describe that in a, in a sentence like we're doing here? Is that above or below sea level? Below sea level. Yes. So 13 feet below sea level. Okay. So again, if it if it starts out above or below, that's positive or negative. So you can think of above as being positive, below as negative. And then if it's going up, you could think of up as positive and down as negative. Okay, could you try uh, the scenario for the eagle? Yes. Would it be 10 minus 3? So it starts plus 10, right? And then it dives down to 3 feet above. Yeah, so this one was a little bit more difficult. The, the answer is 3. The answer is 3. So how do you get there? 
plans. How do you go from ten? Well, you you subtract you subtract seven. Oh. Um, get to get three. Sorry, this one was a little bit different. Where they they give you the uh, the answer. So three feet below sea level. Well, it's positive though. So is this, if the answer is positive, is it above or below? Uh, above sea level. Yeah, so three feet above sea level. So in 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 E, uh, the answer here is minus minus three. It ends up it ends up being three feet. Uh, um, below sea level. So see if you can come up with the two numbers that combine to give you minus three. Wait, so I'm just making an equation that would equal negative well, three? Well, we'll start with, with the, read the first part. It says a pelican is flying. Is it above or below? Um, above. So is that or, plus 10 or minus 10? Um, plus 10. Plus 10. <laughs> okay, now. We got to get to minus three. So how do you get to minus three plus 10? Um, uh, you subtract. Um, Agreed. Um, Thirteen. And you end up three feet below C level. All right. Um the chart's kind of a similar scenario. You're starting it it ends uh three feet below sea level. So take a look at that and see if maybe you can come up with a possible answer for that. Um, would it be negative 10 plus negative 3? So negative 10 is definitely right because it's below, but it it's it's you gotta get to you gotta get to negative three. So you're going you, you are definitely adding a number here, but if you only add three, you get to negative seven. Um, so what do you add to the negative ten to get to positive three? Mm 
it's like go back to the number line here and you're counting. You're just counting like how many does it take to get you to three, negative three. Seven. Okay, there you go. All right, so three feet below sea level. So make sure you get this down and then we'll, we'll kind of work on, see where we need to go to work on some of the, some other problems here. Um, Okay. Okay, so let's just try uh, let's just try some calculations here. Um uh, let's say uh let's say I ask you to do like negative thirteen minus four. What what does that become? They're both negative. Uh, Negative 17. That's very good. Okay. All right. And then how about uh, something like this, like negative 18 plus negative. Again, they're both, both negative. Negative twenty six. That's good. Definitely got that down. So what it what it appears is that the scenarios here, like let's say it's like negative five plus some number gets you to negative three. What what number would that would that be? Two. Two, yeah. Um, so where maybe it gets more difficult is let's say I put in negative seven equals uh, negative one, and you have to figure out both the operation and the number. You know, is it a plus or is it a minus? And then what's the number that goes in here? And that number line could help. Let me go grab that number line again. I guess that's what they're trying to emphasize here. Basically, like, how do you move? So the idea is that whenever you're moving right, right is adding. And whenever you're moving left, that's subtracting or adding a negative. So you have to think about, like, where you're starting and where you're stopping, ending. And if you're going to the right, you're adding. If you're going to the left, you're subtracting. I don't know if that helps, but could you tell me what goes in this box to go from minus seven to negative one? Um, negative seven plus eight. Okay, so you just count, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That gets you to positive one. Is that what this is over here? Oh, no. Okay. So let's try it one more time. Negative seven. We want to get to negative one. Grab the number line here. What would go in that? Um, negative seven plus six. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, all right. Let's try another one here. Let's go um, five 
equals negative three. So we're starting at five and we're ending at, at negative three. So are we going left or right? A left. That means you're subtracting now. You're gonna subtract some number to get to, to negative three. Um, would it be five minus eight? Very good. All right, let's try another one here. Is the number line helping or, do you, or can you do it without it? Yeah, the number line's helping. Okay, it usually does help students. So let's say it's at negative one and we want to get to... Uh, negative 15 okay now this time you know the number line's there to hopefully tell you which direction but you may you, you're not gonna be able to count because it doesn't extend past it um but give that a try please you know you're starting here you're you're, you're finishing way over there to the left um Would it be negative one plus negative 14? Yeah, there's actually two ways you can write it. And that's correct. And you could also write minus 14. That would also be correct. Very good. Um, do you feel like you understand that now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I was looking for some more scenarios here, but we'll, we'll keep going with this. So um, this is going to be a little bit harder, but it's 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 it, we're gonna we'll go through it slowly. Uh, find two numbers, both positive, that add to ten. Okay. Find two numbers, both positive, add ten. This is like the easiest type of problem, but. Uh, I Five plus five. Let's make them different. So find two, um, I'll just change it, two different numbers, both positive that add to 10. What would you What would you say for that then? Seven plus three. Positive seven plus three. Okay. Now let's say, and that equals 10. And then let's say it's really similar here. I want two different, uh, both negative that add to negative 10. So two negative numbers that are different, but add to negative 10. Negative seven plus negative three. Yes, very good. Okay, now this is where it gets it gets uh, more more difficult. So uh, find two different numbers. So one positive and one negative that add to positive ten. So we want to get back to positive ten. We got to use one positive and one negative.
Okay, so let me give you an example. Um, is 11 positive? Uh, wait, wait, uh, did you repeat? You cut out. Is 11 positive? Um, yes. So 11 plus some number gets you back to 10. What uh, number would that be? It's got to be negative now. Does negative one work? No. Wait. Okay. If if you're at eleven on a number line, is negative going backwards? Oh, oh. I I was just I was thinking eleven uh minus negative one. Uh, yes. That's that's different. We're talking about adding. They have to add. Okay. Yeah, I know. Now the the order doesn't matter here. Maybe maybe this is easier to see. Can you give me another example? Of two different numbers, one negative and one positive that add to 10. Uh, let me give you another one. Negative two plus twelve. Does that get you to ten? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me an example now? Another one that works. Um, negative four plus 14. Okay, that worked. Okay. Now this is the, this will be the most difficult one. Okay. Um, find two different numbers, one positive, one negative that add to negative 10, add to negative 10. Okay, so try that. It's related to what we just did. So actually, let me let me re leave this up here. It's it's very similar to what we just did. Take a moment to see if you can uncover uh, the answers. Mm -hmm. Uh, four minus negative six. Okay, four minus negative six. Okay, so that's one positive. You got that part. You've got one negative. What is the math operation between them? Oh, oops. We want adds. Now, let's just change it to that. Does that work? Is four plus negative six negative 10? No. It is not. Okay. So let's try again here. It's related to what you just did. Like you can actually reuse your example with a small modification to get to negative 10. Four plus negative 14. There you go. So you got one positive, one negative. You got the odd. You got the negative 10. Very good. Okay. So now the harder questions are when you when we, we force subtraction. Okay. So th this is, you know, this is all about signage. But one of the things I think we could actually do here is just solve some one-step equations. 
which would actually is actually what this is trying to get you to do. So if I put like negative seven plus X equals negative three, you can think of it as you're starting at negative seven and going to three, like we were doing on the number line. Let me grab that number line again. Okay. How do you go from negative seven to negative three? What, what number do you add? How many to the right are you going? Four. Four. So you'll find that X, X is really four. Okay. So let me grab a, let me grab a worksheet here for that. Okay, so let me put four problems up. Let's see, uh, let's see if you can solve each of these for me, please. They're just like what we what we were looking at, kind of. So, um, actually, don't do five. Just do the uh, do the. Six, seven, and eight, please. How are you doing on these? Um, good. I'm just on the last question. Okay.
Um, would six would the missing variable be seventeen? Say x equals seventeen. How about for number seven? Um, x equals twenty one. Good. And for the number eight? X equals twenty four. Very good. Okay. So the um number five, which I uh, crossed out here, I'll I'll uh, I'll do that as an example. I'll give you a couple like it. Um, the grab this here. So in number five, you're starting at negative two and going to negative 12. So you're moving, you're going left actually. Uh, so the answer here is X equals negative 10. Um, if you think about where negative two is on the number line and negative 12, you know, you're going left. That's why you're subtracting. Um, so I'll leave that up here and ask you to do a couple of problems here. Negative four plus X equals negative 19. Uh, negative one plus X equals negative 13. Go ahead and uh, give those a try, please. Would number one be negative 15? And then X equals negative 12. All right, so then uh, we can kind of do some, some mixed review here, which is you could go either direction. Um, five plus X equals negative three negative three plus x equals negative five. So give these give these two a try, please. Uh, for the first one, X equals negative eight. Fantastic. Very good. And then, uh, for the second one, X equals negative two. Really good. All right. Very good. We're going to stop there for today. Excellent job.